Happy Thursday! It is Sip and Savor. My name is Megan Scupney. My name is Reed Scupney, and welcome back. This is Lane Reed's third installment of Sip and Savor, and welcome to our kitchen. We're excited to have you. Sip and Savor was a little creation that Reed and I made essentially to invite you to our home to have dinner uh, remotely because we can't have you sitting right here next to us. So, yeah, what we've done here is we're pairing delicious recipes and showing you how to cook them with our delicious wines that are kind of designed specifically to go hand in hand. Yeah, the wines are, of course, Lang and Reed Napa Valley wines. We make Cabernet Franc and Chenin Blanc. Today we're going to be featuring our 2015 North Coast uh, Cabernet Franc. North Coast <laughs> Cabernet Franc. And uh, this wine is really the bread and butter of Lang and Reed. We've been making this wine mm -hmm. since 1996, purely for the love of the grape. Uh, the, the idea was to make a wine that was varietally correct, true to type, and really, really um, showcase Cabernet Franc for the grape that it is, not just a blending varietal. Exactly. Back in the day when my parents, John and Tracy, started doing Lane and Reed, they were always, while not disappointed with the Cabernets in the cellar, they wanted something that was a little more friendly and a little more exciting to go with the food that they were having on a weeknight, and they started making Cab Franc. Yeah. And here we are about 26 years later. And here we are making it with delicious food. Yeah. <laughs> so tonight Yeah, we what are, are we making, Megan? <laughs> yeah. Tonight we're actually going to make some pork with garlic chives and put it in lettuce cups. And this recipe is from a few years back, actually. Uh, it's published in the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Lynn Char ben uh, Bennett. Lynn Char Bennett. Bennett. Excuse me. Lynn Char Bennett. Uh, wrote it, made the wine pairing, and she actually now runs a Connoisseur's Guide to California Wine. So yeah, it's pretty cool. A, a small industry for sure. So thank you to that. Um, going into the food portion, first you can hand me this. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. So again, this is the 2015 Langenry North Coast Cab Franc. 100% Cab Franc. Always 100% Cabernet Franc. We don't do anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mostly from Lake County, from the Red Hills of Kelseyville. High elevation, yeah. over a thousand feet, red volcanic soil with exposure to Clear Lake, which kind of gives it those cold nights and hot days that we look for in our Mediterranean client here in Northern California. Yeah, it's really the perfect place to grow mm -hmm. Cabernet from. Yeah. So Reed is actually chopping up our shiitake mushrooms. So if you have the recipe, you can obviously read along with it. We're just going to go ahead and dive right in. Uh, we had taken a couple dried shiitake mushrooms, poured boiling water over them, and rehydrated them. So we're going to make sure we kind of wipe the grid off them, remove the mm -hmm. tough stems. Remove the water through the little cheesecloth. Yes, yeah, so we filtered the water. You want to hold on to that. We'll need it later in the recipe. So we removed the stems, filtered the leftover water, and now Reed's just chopping them up. It says fine dice, so we'll get somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, with shiitakes, you always want to remove the stems. Those are the leathery, not so exciting parts. Yeah, you'll be bummed at that end of the Other mushrooms you can leave it on, but yeah, you'd be pretty bummed. Yeah. So we've got the mushrooms, and we've also done a couple other things to, that we've prepped already. Uh, we chopped our green beans. We had about five ounces of green beans, Eric Bear, uh, whatever you can get your hands on this time of year. And we chopped those up. What else do we do? We've got our water chestnuts all ready to roll. Um, you saw the note. If you can't find fresh water chestnuts, jicama is totally fine. Oh, it's so delicious. I love jicama. And then garlic chives also. So sometimes garlic chives can be difficult to find. You can also use just regular chives. Totally great. We've made this recipe with both. So it goes with. Yeah. That looks pretty great. I'm calling that. I yeah, like, let's do it. I like being able to taste <clears throat> and, uh, and chew on my food. Well, the mushrooms are a real good component. They're a key component into why this recipe is going to go so well with our Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc has always had this earthy, forest mm -hmm. floor uh, characteristic to it, and it's just going to go hand in hand with these shiitake mushrooms. I'm pumped about that. So we've got our mushrooms chopped, and then we're going to tackle our pork. So we've got about a pound of ground pork here, and we're just going to put a little uh, some stuff in it to jazz it up. So we've got a teaspoon of fish sauce, we've got a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, I'm just going to drizzle it over, and then um, what else we have? Oh, two teaspoons of soy sauce. Easy enough. If you have jewelry on and you don't want to get raw pork on it, I'd recommend taking it off because uh, you're just going to dive in. I'm going to have Reed do it, so I don't have to. We're not salting at this point because we have soy sauce in there. So again, fish sauce. 
I remember peanut last sauce. week we love fish sauce. Yeah, we like fish sauce. <laughs> so I was excited we did another a little bit of soy. So I'm just gonna give it a quick toss and then get it all mixed up and then we'll cover it and chill it for a while. Yep, so we're gonna, we're just gonna cover it up. Excellent. Thank you, Megan. My pleasure. I'm gonna cover this up and I'm gonna just pop it in the fridge. Okay, so other things that you can prep while you're waiting for your meat to just marinate a little bit. We've got our butter lettuce. Ooh, pardon me. Yep. Now this is just a head of butter lettuce and we have taken it and separated all the leaves, washed them off, dried them, they're ready to roll. And these are gonna be our little uh, like tortilla shells. It's gonna be really great. And that's about it, so get prepped. Pour yourself a glass of wine, maybe sit for a minute, let that meat get a little flavor infused in it, and um, then we'll meet you guys over at the stove. Cheers. And we're back, you guys. Welcome to our stove again. Yeah, round three. We're gonna cook off some meat. We're gonna, we just grabbed the pork from the fridge. One thing we forgot to mention to make sure that, make sure you've already done is, uh, I just don't want you to blind people when you walked in front of me. Got yeah, my COVID-19 haircut. <laughs> yeah. One thing is to make sure you zested your lime. So you're going to have a couple of tablespoons of yeah. lime zest and then juice the lime also. We'll need yeah. both of those things. It's so just, just one have, thing we didn't show you. Yeah. Have them ready. So let's roll. Let's go I've got a hot pan. I'm going to put some oil in it. Voila. Till it shimmers. And this is neutral oil. You can use canola oil, avocado oil, anything that's not going to impart flavor, but it's going to get really hot and have a pretty high smoking point. Here's our pork, beautiful pork. Oh yeah, it smells awesome. And then, so we're gonna put it in here and, and mush it and saute it until it shows no pink. So not cooked all the way through. I have your spoon for <laughs> not you. Not cooked all the way through. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. We, always, we cook a lot of pork in our house. Um, gosh, this must have started before our kids were born. And we um, started buying whole hogs. And yep. we were buying them from friends of ours. And more recently, we've been buying them from a gentleman in Dixon. And his kids raise them for the 4-H and the FFA. And they sell them to fairs. And we buy what they can't sell. And we just have days of pig butchering on our counters. Yes, it's pretty fun. Yeah. You know, it gives them a chance to sell their, their hogs. And I like we, we like butchering in general. Yeah, well, um, just knowing where our meat comes from, um, it, it makes a, a huge difference. So we're very grateful to have some chest freezers full of meat, for, you know, any any type of thing you want. So I remember our first pig, I remember when it was Sunday. Yeah, it was, oh, a, it was terrible. Oh it my was gosh, a terrible we've, come, day. Yeah. we've come a long way. Bloody in Sunday is what we called it. Oh my gosh. It was, yeah. Anyway, so it, this is not Sunday, but, um, We've got our pork here, so we're just gonna keep it nice and nice and sizzly for the temperature. So keep it at moderate to moderate high heat. Yep. And we want to make sure that we get all the pink out of it. And this is honestly the thing that's gonna take the longest in this recipe. Uh, after the pork is cooked, everything goes yep. really really fast. So while the pork is cooking, I thought we could talk a little bit more about the Cabernet Franc and yes. what we're drinking, why we make it. We kind of tapped into it a little bit. Uh, in regards to this has always been the go-to for Lang and Reed. Um, I, I think we could even tell a little bit of a deeper story. You know, John and Tracy Skepney, I, I hope many of you know them. If you haven't, I hope you get to meet them one day. They are incredible people. And they followed their passion. They lived in Kansas City and came out to Napa following this desire to, to be in wine and drink wine. To be part wine. of the wine industry, yeah. Yeah, they were selling it, and so... Um, you know, they, they both worked at large Cabernet producers throughout Napa Valley and inevitably came home after every blending session or barrel tastings and came home with this the thought of this beautiful Cabernet Franc that at the time, back in the early 90s, everything, it was all just getting blended away. And that's kind of how the idea was born. And so 93 was our first prototype and 96 was our first official release. Really deep down, the idea of Lang and Reed is to, to produce a great bottle of wine that that's easy to drink and goes with a lot of things. Um, not that it's a complicated wine, but it, it, you can drink it 
and enjoy it, or you can drink it and think really hard about it, or you can drink it and pair with food. Um, you know, here we are doing kind of, you know, Asian style pork lettuce wraps, which yep. is pretty weird for a red wine. But we did, you know, a beef orange with, beef with orange beef with Chenin Blanc, Blanc last week. Yeah. Um, and, and so it shows the versatility of these wines. And that we're really trying to just get across is that these are fun wines, and, and we have a lot of fun with them. We have a lot of fun cooking, and thank you guys. All right, so this is... We're getting close. Yeah, most of the pink is gone. What's next, babe? Yeah, so we're going to pour the... Take the sauce, the, the pork, yep. and put it in this bowl right here. Okay. So we want to add the pan free. Hmm. Do you want me to use your spoon to scoop it? I got it. I'm a little... <laughs> For once, it's my. That's a big spin you Yeah, have there, for right? once, I'm over um, equipped. Shucks. All right, so I think I've left as much. There's really no grease left. Yeah, so you want to make sure there's a bit of grease in your pan, just to to um, cover cover the pan because we yep. have to saute a couple other things. Okay. What's Pan's that? hot. Little oil on the side. Green beans going in, and mushrooms going in. We're just gonna saute these. We're gonna crank the heat on a little bit more. It's pretty hot. Not too much. We used a regular skillet last week. We're using catch on this week, so we're holding the heat a little bit more. This will be fun to watch. Yeah, it'll be it'll be perfect. We're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds. The green beans. We want to retain the crunch of the green beans. If you cook them too long, they get a little mushy. Can't see record shenanigans. So 30 seconds on this, and then we're just and then we'll start adding all the goodies for the sauce. And um, I hope you're cooking along with us because someone asked us the other day if we could make this into a scratch and sniff video, which I thought That'd was very cool. clever. Yeah. We can't, by the way. Our director is amazing, but I don't think he has that talent yet. Um, but if you're making it, just enjoy it because, oh man, it smells beautiful and delicious. So I, all, yeah, I tend to enjoy everything slightly undercooked because in the end it'll finish anyway. So I think we're gonna keep rolling. So green beans are we not will. cooked all the way through, but pretty darn close. Yeah, we have a lot to add to build this sauce. So Reed, Hit me. let's get started. We got fish sauce. Our favorite. I'm pretty excited. Smell gnarly. I'm turning it down. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. You can win this back to me. Oyster, oyster sauce. Consider the oyster. Great quick. <laughs> About a quarter teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. That was like three times too much. That's okay. It's really delicious. We have some sriracha. This is not name brand sriracha because we don't eat spicy food. That's, yo, perfect. Our kids complain too much about it. Yeah, they won't eat this. The zest from the entire line going right in. And the lime juice. Let's turn it, it back up. Yeah. Okay. You got the flip with the cast iron. I, I, I was I was worried about that. No, that's perfect. It's actually losing sleep over it. Yeah. So the lot the lime hits the fish sauce, which is all sorts of awkwardness, and it's just rad. Alright, let's put the pork back in. Okay, pork back in. Yep. Oh, can I keep it over here for my sure. enormous spoon? <laughs> Thanks. I like that. Kids are here. Okay. Would you want to come say hello? Okay. You can if you want to. All right, so everything's getting tossed up. We are moving and shaking, so we just want to make sure the sauce really coats all of that beef, whether you have to pork. toss it like beef. Sorry, it's like pork. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Yeah. Um, pork. So this is a fast recipe. You can see that everything goes in, and it's it just it's it's hot and quick, and we just we put it on the table. It's there's, gonna be awesome. There's well, no thinking about this. It's perfect with kids. Water chestnuts. Phew. Going in. Okay. Garlic chives. Yep. And we're getting a little heavy. Scallions. Cornstarch and a little water, and it's just gonna thicken up any sauce that we have on the bottom. But you know what? We actually don't have that much sauce on the bottom. Yeah. 
So I'm not even gonna put this in. Put half. I'm gonna put half in. Yeah, put half in. Good talk. There you go. Alright. So Reed is a very non-recipe goer. I am a very recipe goer. That was very backwards for her relationship. <laughs> they threw me for a loop there. I like to keep you on your toes. Yeah, thanks. And your belly full. I like all that. So if you need a little more liquid, I mean, I think we need a little bit more liquid. This is that mushroom um, juice that came from the dehydrated shiitake mushrooms. Ooh, some of it again. I'm going to pour a little bit more in. Okay, let's stir it up. She just added slurry to make it not saucy, but then added sauce, so I don't know what she's doing. I was trying to be, like, fly by the seat of my pants and not really follow the recipe. Oh, there's the magic. Yeah, it smells, it smells pretty bad. All right. So we're, we're going hot, and we're going fast, and we're just going to let it go until, at this point, you I decide so, yeah. it's done. Yeah. Um, Taste test. If you need salt, you can add some salt. I think ours is going to be just fine with the amount of soy sauce and fish sauce and everything. Thank you. But if it's too salty, you always have carbonate rocks to quench your thirst. Yeah. That's great. So again, hot and fast, you choose when it comes off. If you like everything super soggy, let it go for days. If you like it as we do right now, we're gonna take it off. We're gonna turn it off. Yeah. So, let's go plate it up. Deal. Ready for assembly, guys? So, uh, super easy as this recipe attests to. Butterleaf lettuce. I'm gonna feed Megan here. I spend my whole day taking care of other people, so this is a real big treat. Huh? Yeah, it's not that hard, so just let her believe that. My, my, <laughs> this assembly is not that hard. What she does is ridiculous. Yay! That came out weird. It sure did. <laughs> it's okay, you can keep working on this. Yeah. This is just putting a little cilantro on top. Yep. Another thing you can do, you can put, um, if you have any more lime zest, you can put some on there. You could squeeze a little lime juice on there. If you're into heat, do a little spice. Yeah. Or do a little scallion garnish. And voila. Merci. Durian. And I'll do the same for myself. Yeah, so Rene, actually, while we were bringing this over here, we were just talking about kind of the history of Cabernet Franc. You know, we talked about the history of Lang and Reed and how Lang and Reed started, but mm -hmm. Cabernet Franc itself is, it's one of the five noble varieties from, from Bordeaux. And here in California, for a long time, it was relatively only a blending grape. Underappreciated. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, Lang and Reed, you know, John and Tracy, they just have been the kind of the forerunners of creating this beautiful domestic Cabernet Franc. Mm -hmm. Now you go places like the Loire Valley, Cabernet Franc is not like Chen, uh, in, in Chinon is one of the places where Reed and I ended up um, for the 2008 harvest. Reed worked, I just, just you know, over imbibed, but it was really getting to know Cabernet Franc. And if this was our path to, to go with our family and follow what we were doing and what they were doing, that we really had to fall in love with Cabernet Franc. And, yeah. um, among other things, we fell in love with that and Chenin Blanc, which we can dive into next week, talking a little more about Chenin Blanc. But, you know, Cabernet Franc, it's uh, the characteristics, it has this beautiful floral violet nose that even two, three percent, four percent, takes Cabernet Sauvignon to a whole nother level. And that's really what it was being utilized as. And and uh, we make this Cabernet Franc that you get that, you get these earth notes, you get this um, herbaceous yeah. side, almost like a, I love when people describe it as a tomato leaf. Totally. It's a yeah. very specific smell that all of a sudden everybody has that smell in your nose. Yeah. And um, so just, I don't know, I just, I love it. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very easy going, um, easy approachable red wine that uh, is very versatile. Mm -hmm. um, Cabernet Sauvignon is, is it, while it is easily the most widely, you know, known red wine, it's, it's very myopic. You can only drink it in certain settings, whereas, you know, here we've paired Cab Franc with, you know, two different sort of off dishes with beef and with uh, with Asian pork cups, and it's going to be delicious. I just know it. Mine's getting cold. Yeah. All right, dive in. <laughs> Please. Before our kids come running in. Yeah, yeah. The kids are not far. So you can't, you can't see it. It just looks like I'm eating a green burrito. Mm -hmm. 
I like the tiny bit of heat. We rarely ever put any type of heat in our foods because of our children. And even that just a little splash of sriracha mm -hmm. is awesome. So I think with the, mm -hmm. with the cap franc, it's going to be really good pair. The cilantro, the scallions, and even the green beans play really well. Uh, we know this wine, so we don't have to taste it and be like, oh, that's what we get out of it. Um, I just, I know it's going to happen. It actually, uh, there's no pause between the two flavor profiles. It's uh, almost as though you take a bite, you have a sip, but the, mm -hmm. they just flow into one. There's no mm -hmm. stopping of one and starting of another. It just continually flows. And now in my, uh, the taste I have is just mm -hmm. a little bit of both. And you breathe out my nose and you just kind of taste it forever. Exactly. And the, the acid of these high altitude Cabernet Francs from Lake County and Kelseyville area um, just cut right through all that grease, the, the fat from the pork, the peanut oil. <laughs> yeah, make, oil. make sure you have a towel next yeah. to you. So. Hey guys, come on in. Who's sitting where? Oh, here. Look, can I some water and Sure. Yeah, water. So what we've got for you tonight, guys, is up? some pork lettuce wraps. Oh, it's gonna be super yummy. I think we're like it. Cheers. He's, oh, you guys are thirsty. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, breathe. Whoa! And then back to the sink. Cheers. Hey, you guys want cheers? Cheers to the hockey across. Try your hockey. Here, I'll make one. Yeah. Oh, hockey's going in. Ready, Ready hockey? hockey? Cheers. That was What do you think? Was that a good yes or a bad yes? Oh, good. Here's an napkin. Give me up. Delicious? You know what we should have done? is said happy birthday to Hawk, because this is going to air on his birthday. Oh, yeah. Hockey, should we cheers to you and say happy birthday? OK. Ready? Happy birthday, Hawk. Happy birthday, Hawk. Happy birthday, Hockey. Cheers, Hockey. Happy birthday, handsome. Please visit www.langandreed.com to order wines for next week, download recipes, and find out more about Sip and Savor. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next Thursday, April 30th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Lang and Reed's Facebook live stream.